Keekley was in a class by himself highlighting BC's Pro Day. 34 NFL personnel were on hand representing 27 teams, all watching the man who racked up nearly every possible defensive award last season. It was an experience. It's one of those things that I don't think you realize how long it's going to be until you're there, you know, up early, but, you know, to bed late, um, three, four nights in a row. So I think when the combine was over, you know, I was able to breathe, kind of relax. Relax because he wowed at the combine in February. Obviously, speed is not a factor with a 4.5840, and quarterbacks beware throwing up the middle as Luke produced a 38 in the vertical. Luke Keekley is impressing scouts with more than just his numbers. It's the immeasurables. He's a great football player with terrific instincts, a good work ethic, and a tackling machine who can also cover, making him more valuable in this pass happy NFL. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready for it like right now. I just want to know where I'm going to be. You know, most of the physical stuff's out of the way now. I just got to, you know, keep myself in shape. Hopefully visit some places and then wait for my name to be called. His name will be called come April 26. The latest mock drafts have Luke going in the first half of the first round, somewhere between 10th and 15th overall. At Boston College, I'm Jamie Parker for Nesson Daily. All right, that's a fantastic point, Jamie. Thank you. It's not whether Keekly is a first-round pick. It's where in the first round he's going to go. You can see in his last season at the Heights, Keekly racked up more hardware than a Home Depot. More Nesson Daily after the break.